Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. With COVID around, being able to do remote support is really, really important. And this is my new favorite tool. Upfront warning. As a user, you should not do this unless you know the other person who is helping you or you deliberately call them and trust that they have your best interests at heart. They have complete control of your computer and can do anything you can. Make sure it is someone trustworthy. If you're the slightest bit unsure, close the connection immediately. I've used lots of different remote access solutions. Log me in, team viewer, splash top, and back in the day, Fog Creek Copilot. I've also used Skype for business, and more recently, WebEx in the corporate setting. The problem with most of these is the monthly subscription fee. It's hard to justify 30, 40, 50, $100 a month for occasional use. I mean, if you're doing it all the time, it makes perfect sense. But for occasional use, it's very hard to justify. There are free options as well. I have and continue to use VNC for local network connections, as well as Windows Remote Desktop for controlling servers and even desktops when I'm using a VPN to connect into the work network. I've used Chrome Remote Desktop, and it can be really handy, especially for cross-platform use, supporting those pesky Mac users. But it's hard to talk a remote user who's already having issues through installing a new piece of software. Thankfully, Microsoft seems to have finally built something useful into Windows 10. Enter Quick Assist. It is worth noting you do need a Microsoft account in order to be able to help someone with this. It is not required for the person you are helping. To find it, the easiest way is to click on your start menu and type quick. Quick Assist should pop up and you can click on it and get it started. For both users, it just has this small box with the top half for the people you're helping and the bottom half if you need to help someone else. When you click give assistance, it will ask you to sign in to your Microsoft account. The next step is to share the security code with the person at the other end. This security code is only active for 10 minutes. The session itself, once connected, can last longer, but just the setup period only lasts 10 minutes and usually takes less than one. To get started, you have to click copy to clipboard to copy the security code to your clipboard and then I sent the code and it will start the session. Or you can click provide instructions, which gives you detailed instructions that you can either give to the person over the phone or send them in a chat or email message. Then you click, I provided the information and the session will start for you. At this point, your screen will say, instructions provided, please wait for devices to connect. You are ready and just have to wait for the person at the other end to start up Quick Assist and enter the six digit code and then press share screen. Next, the helper is asked if they are just watching or taking full control. I would suggest normally you want to take full control, although it is nice to have the watch only option if you're just checking that somebody's doing the right thing. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a way to switch from watch only mode to help mode without getting out and coming back in. For the user, it tells them who is connecting, gives them the option to read the privacy statement and terms and conditions, and waits for them to press allow. Now the helper has complete control of the desktop at the other end. In this case, I'm remote controlling all three screens of my Windows 11 Vita laptop. From here, you can do anything the user can do, and they can either watch and learn, or go and get a cup of coffee while you do whatever it is you need to do. There are options along the top of the screen to choose individual monitors, or you can view all monitors. There's also a tool to allow you to draw on the screen and illustrate a point. You can send text-based messages and get a response. You can also restart the session and open the task manager on the remote machine, which is handy for troubleshooting. And lastly, you can pause and stop the session. If the person being helped accidentally closes the program, you can still reconnect as long as they haven't quit the app itself completely. The person being helped can also pause the sharing at any time, blanking the screens on the helper's end. Useful if they have to input something confidential. And of course, they can close the session completely. They still have full control. It's really quite handy and easy to use. Before I go though, I do want to reiterate that you should not be doing this unless you either know the person on the other end of the line or you have deliberately called them 
and trust them to fix your computer. So there you have it, Windows Quick Assist. Question of the day, is this something you'd use or do you have a different product that you prefer? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful to you, give it the thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. There's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, and to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.